It's your average gamer here back with another video and this is going to be a follow-up video on a review for the gamer mini pro uh, we've tested other products from that games before um, this one's a little bit different so let's get into it hey guys so a couple of videos ago I did a video on this bad boy uh, the Gamer Mini Pro. And I spent some time with it now. And I wanted to get a little deep into it. And so I'm going to show you some videos, some gameplay, and me using it, and tell you what I think about it. So why don't we start that? So here we are with the Gamer Mini and Legends Gamer Mini. And, um, it's a beautiful build quality. You can see back here the uh, HDMI output and the USB port on and off button there. Um, and it's just like your control deck in your Legends Ultimate or the, the game, the um, Legends Camera Pro. Um, you have your rewind button, your home button, and your player one, and eight action buttons. So, um, that's the layout there. It's really meant for your uh, more of your modern fighting games and or whatever other games you'd like to play. Um, I added the pinball buttons to it. That um, it does not come with the pinball buttons, but it does allow you to configure it to um, buy those additional buttons and just put them on there. They're fifty bucks at the. Uh, Say, and you can see the button blinking. That's telling you that um, you can go ahead and pair it to Bluetooth mode um, there. So, and here we're using the mini in portrait mode, playing Lunar. R Lunar, R I believe it's uh, Rescue uh, in landscape mode, which is pretty cool. How versatile this unit is. You can play in portrait and landscape um, it's a very versatile unit um, there so I just wanted to show you that and now look at it in my lap it's the perfect size you know you don't have to lug things around you don't have to have a big table in front of you you can put this on your lap and it doesn't feel like it's taking over your whole lap there um, just fits perfectly and I also added the pinball button so I want to show you a little bit of uh, pinball play with this these are the Gottlieb tables um, running natively on a uh, on the system there just it's it's really works very well on there um, got it at waist level it could be a little higher but I think it, it works perfect there that was black um, black hole. This is 1812. I don't. I believe. Um, and it just it, it 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 plays very well. I just love this little thing uh, there. And just so you could see um, the height level, um, it just fits perfect. I mean, it really depends on where you place it up at height level, but. Um, and you know the wideness of it it just I think it's right it it's the build quality is is awesome um love the button configuration um love the fact that you can add pinball buttons to this it's a very um I say flexible ver versatile piece of equipment um you know it's nice I know that the way it's built, it doesn't feel like a game stick. It feels like a part of of a unit, and that's the one thing. Like if you don't, if you were just gonna use it just to use it, it would feel a little weird because it just feels like it's supposed to be a piece of of, of something else, not its own thing. If if that makes sense, I wish that they would. And, and I'm hoping that that's something that they do is do some uh, selling some artwork for these units. Like, you know, it's nice, but um, man, what if I wanted it to be all black? I mean, we can get that through third parties, 
but there's some people that don't want to deal with third parties they just want to deal with the, the company itself so that would be cool to be able to give swappable artwork on these units and and probably that's something that they're you know in the works of doing since they are doing that with the um the actual cabinets um but i think that would be cool so for me i'd say it's a go you know with those a little um cons i think there's more pros i think it you know it's cool to it's very flexible cool for one player person um, you can play all your games, you can play pinball, you can play Steam games, you can play coin op X on this like you like you would do with your big system. It is the the system without all this taking up all the space. You're just connecting it to uh, a television or monitor, anything that has HDMI. Um, so it's cool. Um, so thumbs up on my end I th definitely think that this is a go I think you're getting a good bang for your buck you have to remember you what you're getting it for uh, if you're you know straight out the box um, are some the you know the games are a little bit less desirable but for what you can do with it and the endless possibilities of getting into the at games legends family I think this is a pretty damn awesome unit, um, to say the least. And at the, entering at that price point, a hundred bucks, I think this is a win-win. So, um, let me know if you guys are, are, are getting one or if you already have one. And if you have one, what do you think about it? Um, and if you have one and you're not happy with it, tell me why. I would like to hear your thoughts. With that being said, um, please consider subscribing, giving me a, a thumbs up if you're happy with the video, um, a thumbs down if you hate my voice or my stupid face, that's okay, that works too. And as always, keep gaming.